Hi, Debbie. So we are finally in, in the same room. Life? Yes, yes. So this is a special edition of the video. Um, so we had two releases. Yes. 33 and 34. And we are here to tell you all about this. So let's jump to the usual presentation. So we have slides and we have a really packed agenda. So let's start. UI mode update. Exactly, UI mode. I hope everybody is already using UI mode because it's so cool. And it's now getting better. No way. Yes, uh, you wouldn't believe it. So let me actually show it. So here I am. Oh, no, wait, let me share my screen. Here it is. So here I am, uh, let me zoom in. I have a very basic test file. Okay. So it has some before each hook. Yep. And inside of before each, it has a custom step that does navigation. And uh, which goes to the playwright. Goes yeah. to the Website? playwright naturally. Okay. Yes. And my test is very simple. It just takes a screenshot and makes sure that, you know, the page has the screenshot. Page has a screenshot and, you know, it renders uh, in some reasonable way. Okay. So let's jump into the UI mode and see what you've done different. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So looks the same. Looks the same, but wait until we run the test. Okay. Here we are. For hooks. Yeah. So the new things right here. So we now have hooks. Cool. And hooks are things that actually run before and after the test. And we have this before each hook. Nice. And uh, it has fixtures in here. Mm. So we even show fixtures. And you know, the fixture, the browser fixture launches a browser, natural. Yeah. And we have custom steps here. A navigation step. Yeah, and uh, it has a navigation. So this is a new thing for UI mode. It hasn't been there before. And cool. The same for the after hooks. Yep. Now, uh, we have this to have screenshot, but it's boring right now because it passes. Let's make it fail. Okay. So I'll quickly go back and I'll edit the test. And I'll just get the button, which is get started. Okay. And I will remove it. Because you don't have access to the website to really remove the button. Yeah, exactly. So let's go back to the UI mode and let's rerun the test. So this is a real kind of imagine if somebody went to the code and removed the button. Yes. So now we see the two has screenshot no has actually button. failed. Mm -hmm. There is no button. But now in the bottom here, we have attachments. Okay. And you can come here and actually explore the div. So we see things are different now. Yeah. The actual yeah. doesn't have a button. Unexpected. Expected has a button. Nice. And you even have a slider. No way. Yeah. Whoa, so you can go and slide it. That is cool. That's very cool. Yes. I need to write screenshot tests yep. now. <laughs> yes, please. So this is actually the UI mode, but this is not only UI. So all of these features are also coming to the trace viewer. Cool. So let me record this failure with a trace. And I'll do MPX Playwright show trace. And we have test results. And we have trace.zip. So if the tests fail on CI, you'll also get this experience. Exactly. Cool. So you have your hooks. You have your fixtures, your custom steps, and you have your attachments and div here. And the slider. As well. And slider. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. slider. Okay. Back to our presentation. So quick recap. Okay. So for UI mode, we have, uh, we now show hooks. Before all, before each. Exactly. Uh, custom steps. Yeah. Test of step. And the fixtures. Page, context. And secret. attachments. Awesome. For screenshots. Yes. Very cool. Moving on. So next step, project teardown. So before talking about teardown. We need to talk about setup. Exactly. And dependencies. So let's throw in a little bit of projects here. So I have this bare bones config. doesn't mm -hmm. have any projects here. So I added the first project, which is a setup database project. So basically seeding a database, adding some data. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it has a very special test match mm -hmm. for global.setup. Yeah. And I also have like Chromium and WebKit projects. Yeah. 
Now I want to make these projects depend on setup. Because they need the data. Yes. Okay. Yes. And the way I do it, do you remember? Using dependencies. Exactly. Using the dependencies. So I throw in the dependencies keyword mm -hmm. and it has this arrow. Yep. Now, when I run this, the first thing that runs is the setup test. Exactly. And then the tests from my projects run in parallel. Run in parallel. All good. Now, uh, before this 134 release, how do I actually tear down my database? You couldn't. Yeah, it was really hard. But now you can actually do the same thing, kind of the same thing. We have mm -hmm. a new feature, which is called teardown. Cool. To use it, you have a new project, cool. which is called, you know, clean, clean, up, clean database. up database. Remove all the data. Yeah, yeah. And you use a special teardown keyword. Oh, wait, by the way, it has to have a very special test match, similarly to setup. Yeah. And now you have a teardown word. Okay, which you put in the setup. In the setup, yes. So That's this adds this red arrow here. You see here? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. And now when you execute these tests, it first runs setup. Then the dependencies. All the dependent projects, yes. And then the cleanup. And then finally the cleanup. Cool, easy enough. Easy enough. So this is a teardown, and this is how we recommend everybody to use it. Pretty nice. Yeah. Um, moving on. Like Ares. Like Ares got a bunch of new and exciting APIs. Cool. And we'll start right on with the locator.end. Okay. And to illustrate this API, let's imagine, uh, you know, some abstract landing page. And it has a bunch of sign-up labels scattered around. Mm, sign up, sign up. Everyone sign up. Sign up. Yeah, yeah. So, Debbie, this will be a quiz for you. Okay. Uh, the quiz is to actually to click... Yeah, to click the very first uh, sign up button. Yep, by roll button sign up. Uh, okay, yes, uh, good idea. But it will select actually Ooh, two there's elements. two of them. Yes, yeah. because there is another sign up button. Strict rule. Okay, uh, another one. How would you like? Oops, uh, uh, this a was a hint. Title, get by uh, title, sign up today. Yes, yes, uh, get by title. But unfortunately. No, there's another one. There's ah, another one. There's damn, a link. I didn't see that. Yeah, with yeah, exactly yeah. the same title. So, however. So, we're stuck. So, however. We now can use this new locator and. Okay. And you can use this to combine both of the selectors. Ooh, okay. Get by role button name sign up and get by title exactly. sign up today. So it has exactly. to have those two. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And this is how you select this precise element. Ooh Good job. Nice. Good job. Okay, moving on. Uh, locator or. Ooh, so and, but this is or. This is or, yes, <laughs> okay. yes. So say, say, for example, I have a website. Yeah. And every time I load this website, it either shows me this new email button okay. or some obscure dialogue, oh, like confirm new security settings oh, or whatever. Terrible. Terrible. Um, how do I write a script that waits for either the button or for the dialogue to appear? So email, get it by role, email, new email, or? Yes, yes. Okay, you're, you're getting the idea. <laughs> exactly. So we get a locator for the new email yeah. button. And then we get another locator for the dialog yeah, button. Text. Okay. And then I can use the web first assertion and this new or. Expect new email or dialog. Exactly. To be, to, to be visible. Yes. Cool. So this is the new locator or. Easy. Next stop. Filtering by negation on negation, which is has not or has not text. Okay. Okay, so I have a good illustration here as well. Beautiful table. Thank you. Uh, so my goal is to take a screenshot of the very last, of the row with the whale and all in this table. Do you have alt tags? I have no alt tags. Terrible. Yes, it's, I, it's a bad table. Terrible. But I'm very interested in this screenshot. So how would you do it? Like get the third row. Third row is like, you know, it's not necessarily third row, mm. but this is definitely a row without helicopter and without the button. Ah, okay. So I can say um, a T or locator T or and filter by has not. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, 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 you're getting <laughs> and the has idea. has not text yes. helicopter or something yes, like that. Yes. So you select everything, okay. all the rows. All the rows. Then you say, okay. Rows without helicopter. Yeah. And Filter. this gives us. Has not. And this is text has not text. Okay. And then you can say also rows without this button. Okay. And this gives me the role with, oh, the, the row with these images. And I can just take a screenshot of it. Cool. Easy. Yes. Yes. Pretty easy. <laughs> um, straightforward. So to sum up. 
Locator and for selecting something that has something and something. Yes. Locator or for something that has this or this. Yes. And filter for something that has not a role or has not the text of something. Yes. Cool. Exactly. Nice. And uh, moving on to the last uh, chapter of our presentation. Miscellaneous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so first up, uh, a new method, expect configure. To configure expect. Yes. Um, nice. So <laughs> the way you use it, though, is in your uh, spec file, mm -hmm. you can use your expect to create new instances. So you can create this soft assertion okay. by expect configure soft true. Yeah. And you can use this slow expect to configure different timeout for web first assertions in expect. Okay. So later in your test, you can use this soft assertion. Which means then the page is not going to, the test is not going to stop. It's going to, yeah, if it, it fails, it will, it will continue. Yeah, this is softness. But mm -hmm. and this is exactly the same as expect.soft. Okay. And you can also use a slow expect. And mm -hmm. the slow expect is exactly the same Slows as, it, it, it waits lower, more. Yeah. yeah, so by default it's five seconds unless you configure it differently. Mm -hmm. And this, you can override this by this custom option, but you can actually use slow expect. So if it's the same, what's the benefit? Uh, I mean, slow expect is a shortcut. If you use it in many different parts of your test, you mm -hmm. can just define it once for you uh -huh. in the very beginning and then use it everywhere. So change the timeout, for example, once and then... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, for this test. Cool. Um, next up, web server now lets you configure STDR and STD out. And this is pretty simple as well. This is just your config with web server Letting, field. Setting up your local dev server. Yeah, yeah. And you can now specify how do you want to treat the STD out and STDR of the web server process. Cool. Uh, next up, uh, we have a new web assertion, which is uh, to be attached. Okay. And this means that the element is actually in the DOM. Okay. Like before we had to be visible. But maybe you have a CSS... Yeah, hidden if class? you have CSS hidden, it's not visible, yes. but it's in the DOM. So this is how you can check if something mm. is actually present. Cool. Um, now we have a new custom uh, reporters API method, which is reporter on exit, mm -hmm. which is async. So you can do your delay the postponed job uh, in this method. And you have new events on browser context. You have console and dialog events. And this is kind of a sync that comes from all the pages. It bubbles up to the browser context. And you can uh, you have a matching methods. For console message, you have a dot page, which gives you a page where the console message, message is coming from. And the same for dialog. Cool. That's a lot of miscellaneous. Yeah, a lot of miscellaneous. I agree. Okay, but this is it. Summary. Summary. UI mode update. You can now see your before and after, your test steps, your fixtures, uh, your page all that in the UI mode. And you got a cool little bar to scroll across to see the yep. attachments for the screenshots, yes, which yes. is my favorite. Project teardown. Uh, you can now tear down before you couldn't. So set up your database or your, your login test, yep. uh, run your tests for the dependencies, uh -huh. and then tear it down, and you're back to normal. Yes. Uh, new locators API, let me see, and something and something, or something or something and has not and has not text precisely and um, miscellaneous expect.configure and uh, to be attached for exactly. those css hidden ones exactly and a bunch and of the rest. more <laughs> and the rest, yes. okay so cool. if you like what we do please uh, give us a star subscribe to our twitter youtube and uh, discord please write us comments we read all of them um, yeah. yeah see you for the next release thank you debbie for coming Yes. Nice job. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.